शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ नैष्कर्म सिद्धि सेकेंड चैप्टर पेज सिक्सटी फाइव फिफ्टी टू वर्स नंबर इंट्रोडक्शन वस्तु याधात्म्यम अनवबोधपटल अवनधाक्ष सन्न वी आर सीइंग द अनात्मा आत्मा विवेका सुरेश्वराचार्य टॉकिंग अबाउट द अहंकारा अनात्मा कुछ अहंकारा इज द कॉज फॉर द इनसेक्योरिटी ऑफ द एंटायर ह्यूमैनिटी अहंकार इज अनात्मा अहंकारा इज नथिंग बट माइंड प्लस चिदाभास रिफ्लेक्टेड कॉन्शियसनेस दिस अहंकारा एलोन इज कॉल्ड सूडो आई I said in the last class, duplicate I. We can call it as a pseudo I means unreal I, lower I, inferior I, lower order of reality I, or vyavaharika aham. With which aham I do vyavahara, and I take that aham pseudo I as myself. because of my ignorance if once i study shastra i come to know what is pseudo i what is real i the pseudo i is the secondary i that is because of my blessing the higher i the atma the chaitanyam i the sakshi chaitanyam am the higher i real i permanent nityam ever unchanging i aham lend chidabhasa to the mind in that mind because of that chidabhasa formation the pseudo i is formed aham aham ahankara that is that ahankara pseudo i is also having the status of subject status and object status double role this ahankara is playing because of whose blessing i the sakshi chaitanyam by my blessing only this blessed ahankara is playing the subject role from the standpoint of drishya prapancha and object role from the standpoint of me the sakshi chaitanya this is the most uh, crux the important crux of vedanta if a student uh, is discerned to grasp this uh, vedanta job is over vedanta job is over and you can enjoy your this anatma prapancha whatever you are experiencing as your vibhuti that is the advantage of this knowledge why to get this pseudo i knowledge higher i knowledge if i understand this pseudo i is not real i it is blessed by me it is because of me it is within me only if i know this uh, no more insecurity no more fear no more unhappiness no more limitation i am a free person that is the advantage some intelligent people like you work for this uh, um, knowledge so that they can make their life more 
meaningful purposeful beautiful useful everything what not this is the difference between gnani and agnani so we need not think gnana means so difficult it is very 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 unique it is not possible for us simple you see day to day interaction when we are doing i the ahankara lower i as mother father brother sister all these are ahankara lower i they are all my vesham i the sakshi chaitanya am as veshi i the sakshi chaitanya am veshi the one who play the role simple shift you can shift like a channels you are changing in the tv you can change to pseudo i to higher i higher i to pseudo i knowingly deliberately what an advantage this is called living intelligently this is called living intelligently if you want to live intelligently understand this what sureshwara acharya says this pseudo i cannot touch me the sakshi chaitanyam after explaining the ahankara elaborately sukshma shariram van anatma sthula shariram anatma of course karana shariram anatma and the chidabhasa anatma and their attributes are also anatma and that whole interaction is anatma everything is anatma they cannot touch me i am paramarthika satyam higher i just as a dreamer dream world dream objects cannot touch the waker they are born from the waker me and i the waker lend existence to the dreamer dream world dream objects they cannot touch me the waker same way similarly this ahankara pseudo i lower i secondary i which is vyavaharika i cannot touch me its attributes its limitations cannot really bother me that is the inner freedom but what is happening why this this is not known to the people yathatmyam anavabodaha introduction of the fifty second verse vastu yathatmyam what is vastu here ai the sakshi chaitanyam brahman is the vastu anavabodaha not knowing this yathatmyam its real nature my own real nature that is why i used to say mistaken i is jeeva understood i is brahman mistaken i is pseudo i mistaken i is pseudo i secondary i i take that i as real then i am a jeeva understood i is what primary i higher i paramarthika aham i am brahman how much distance is there for knowledge for moksha tell me understood i is brahman mistaken i is jeeva now you ball is in your court whether you are mistaken i you are taking or understood i you are you are understood i or mistaken i you have to say what i am understood i swamini but i have to do interaction therefore i am using that pseudo i just for my um, sport for my entertainment that is why for gnani entire interaction with the world is an entertainment no need of another movie or serial anything for entertainment no extra outside tv or any other serial movie entertainment is not required for a gnani because the entire interaction with the world is a movie for a gnani if you consider yourself as a gnani yes i am also seeing the entire movie 
upon me the atma screen <laughs> okay beautiful anava bodha patala patala means like a membrane just like a person a cataract is there that membrane his vision is so so blur he cannot see properly anava bodha avanadhakshaha san avanadhakshaha means covered as it were avanash dhatu its past participle avanadhakshaha the eyes just as the eyes are covered veiled by that membrane cataract membrane like that this ignorance membrane covers the mind or intellect antakaranam not allowing this person to know what is pseudo i what is higher i what happens if person do not know that pseudo i as pseudo i he looks at his wife hmm, like what na suryeshwaracharya is bluntly telling but you have to uh, withstand for this shloka 52 uh, about uh, patni how husband looks at her or you can take other way round also how um, wife looks at her husband same way you can uh, connect to that that also now he presents that i read the shloka 52 hmm? A person who is ignorant person who gives reality to the pseudo I, unreal I, secondary I, he looks at his wife or any relation you can take, a granddaughter, grandchild or like anyone. Here he gives about Patni. Subhru sunasa sumukhi sunetra charu hasini kalpanam matra sammohat ramitya lingate suchim very very blunt <laughs> sureshwar acharya you have to bear with this okay husband looking at her his wife oh my wife is so she's having a beautiful eyes okay subhru beautiful eyes enchanting eyes attractive eyes round eyes big eyes you know? people say you no know, the kamala patra kamala patraksha they compare those eyes and he so attracted to her eyes subhru then sunasa beautiful nose and very very sharp nose nice attractive nose Sunasa Muk Muk Pate Alag Pate is so enchanting, so nice he is enjoying. Sunasa Patni Subruhu Patni. You have to add Patni 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 for everything. Sumukhi Patni. My wife is so her face is so beautiful. It's like a moon. No? It's so pleasant, so fair, so complexion. Her beauty is the beauty. No? Uh, Sumukhi. No? Very beautiful face she has got. Sunetra. Subruhu means here eyebrows. No? Very nice eyebrows. No? That typical Sunetra he said. That's why you have to take eyes, beautiful eyes. And Subruhu means beautiful forehead. Eyebrows eyelashes everything everything they that's why beauty parallels are thriving so beauty parallels are thriving cosmetics are thriving that itself shows how demand for the face facials they are doing how busy how much they are earning lot of money they are earning <laughs> puja swami dayananda saraswati jokularly says um, he, when he went to america one devotee lady came to Swamiji and Swamiji asked her, what you are doing? Then she said, don't ask Swamiji, I feel shy to say. She is so rich, she has got a lot of money and big bangla, everything. No, what you are doing, you have a lot of uh, uh, richness, all this. She says, I pluck the eyebrows, she said. <laughs> I pluck the eyebrows and number of people come, ladies come to me. Of course, gents are also going to beauty parlors nowadays. 
many many ladies are coming i used to pluck their eyebrows therefore i got lot of money you know. so joke <laughs> lady swami ji they always says that sunetra beautiful eyes then um, charu hasini with a beautiful smile also and smile means her tooth her teeth are so beautiful nana very nice uh, if she smiles uh, that's why people give advertisement for uh, paste you know for lot of paste and all they give advertisement and these people also expect that same whiteness same color and denture nowadays uh, uh, all children are wearing that steel denture steel denture is for what na no, to maintain the alignment of that teeth alignment you see huh? teeth alignment sake and they wear that steel denture upon the original denture and they struggle to eat food whatever may be in later in life they should not have any uh, derailment like <laughs> how much care na no? pal care skin care hair care eye care eyebrow care eye lashes care what not my goodness uh, suhasini charu hasini charu means beautiful charu hasini na beautiful smile then what are all this even lady also wife also thinks about her husband like that only what a very handsome person and kalpana matra samuhat these are all ideas this thinking pattern about one's own wife one's own husband is only because of samuha because of delusion it is only kalpana matram it is only a superimposition it is janya samuhat that means it is born out of shobhana dhyasa in the previous verse we saw uh, wrong perception kalpana matra means shobhana dhyasa or wrong perception because of that wrong perception what he does rami rami means uh, here rama means um, sukha hetu ram dhatu it ramayati iti rama dirgham the one who gives ananda rami she is the one who gives me happiness sukha hetu hu iti chintayati he thinks like that she is uh, uh, the cause for my sukha ananda what suresh acharya says so oh, my dear this is wrong thinking erroneous thinking erroneous perception this is because of your delusion because of that delusion what this person do alingate ashuchim <laughs> he embraces her or she embraces him ashuchim ashuchim means malabhanda garam body is a walking toilet varchaskam you saw in that previous verses varchaskam body is a walking toilet all blood everything what not all asuchi we are carrying lot of impurities asuchim alingate thinking that what a brahma what a moham people to get marry a girl he goes and see that girl how she looks and how he looks how much time they are thinking about you know the companion so much so much thinking so much of time we uh, spend upon that at young age before marriage everyone everyone has got that attraction what is this na sri shrachar says moha kalpana matram that is why those days marriages and are not for only physical appearance dharma praja abhivruddhyartham only to get children to propagate dharma to get children a companion that was the idea of marriage all that have gone vedic intentions of marriage everything has gone that is why marriage relations are ending up with divorce hmm? lot of complaints even living together also with lot of uh, struggles and problems 
So what for this companionship? What for the children? Dharma Praja Apivruthyartham Vedic vision If you don't assimilate and understand Life is miserable Life is miserable That companionship, wife and husband relation is only for Healthy children to propagate dharma next, next, next generation That is the idea Not seeing the skin uh, Going to beauty parlor and making lot of facials and living. What a struggle to maintain that hair and dyeing, putting dye to the hair and uh, lot of uh, false vasham put it to make uh, to a, um, to make others to you know pleasing. The real beauty is in that mind, your knowledge. That is real beauty. Otherwise you are so insecure with this body. It is go on changing. Every day it is changing. Hmm? We are uh, bothered about wrinkles. We are bothered about uh, white hair. We bother about everything. What not. Uh, that is called Deha Abhimana. So to drop Deha Abhimana, Sureshwar Acharya is telling, See this Mudaha, Kalpana Matram Samohat Rami Alingati, he gives, she gives happiness to me and embracing that Asuchi, impure body. Okay, let me come to the next verse 53. Uh, Suresh Racharya is going to conclude that uh, uh, entire Hankara. What he has presented until now, what is the cause for entire misery for a human being, he consolidate here. Sarvasya nartha jatasya jihasitasya mula mahankara eva tasya atman atmano uparagat natu paramarthatah Atmano vidyaya tat karye nava sambandaha abhut asti bhavishyati va tasya aparilupta drishti svabhavyat. These three lines, you know, billions of dollars worth, billions and billions and billions. You cannot uh, value these three lines if you understand you are the most richest person in the world. Most richest person if you understand these three lines. We understand but we assimilate we are richest. Okay. Sarva anartha jatasya. For all problems, anartha means problems. The entire humanity facing Sarva all problems because of what? Anartha jatam, bandil. Jatam means group, bandil of problems. Everyone struggle to be free from this bundle of problems. Physical problems, emotional problems, intellectual limitation, financial problems, so on and so on and on and on. Jihasitasya. Struggling, who from which problem we are struggling to run away? From which problem we are struggling to uh, go away far and far and far? Jihasitasya. Hadhatu. Jihasitasya. Mula, mulam ahankaraha. Mulam is what? Mulam, the root cause is. Ahankaraha eva. The entire humanity struggling to get rid of jihasitasya, to get rid of all bundle of problems. This is caused by ahankara mulam. The root cause is ahankaraha eva. Tasya ahankarasya. Atma anatmano ho uparagat. Why this ahankara is causing all these problems? Who is this ahankara which is causing the problem and we are struggling to run away from those problems and uh, not knowing what is the remedy 
for that and trying this remedy that remedy and fail utter utter failure and tired of last we come to vedanta class na tappittavare edad vanda class ki by good luck some people only can come to vedanta all people are not able to come even though they are struggling they want to come out of that they want to get rid of this struggle but how many people are able to come to vedanta which is the right solution very rare yes? therefore mula ahankara eva tasya what is that nature of that ahankara atma anatmano ho sambandha atma aidi sakshi chaitanyam and that mind because of my presence that chidabhasai has formed what to do uparagat means sambandha association the mind and sthula shariram and sushma shariram are together since i the atma i am all pervading wherever mirror is there reflection of that object will form in that mirror cannot avoid that it is the nature of that mirror similarly here mind nature is reflecting that atma it has got a capacity i the atma chaitanyam has got consciousness i am consciousness i the consciousness principle chit reflect in the mind my god i reflect in the mind and reflection has formed Hmm? i am like a sun mind is like a moon and chidabhasa is like a moonlight and that moonlight uh, is nothing but uh, sunlight moon is the medium moonlight is moonlight because of sunlight similarly chidabhasa is chidabhasa because of me the chit chidabhasa is formed because of mind mind is sukshma shariram sukshma shariram mind is in sthula shariram i have forgotten forgotten illa not knowing this and taking the sthula shariram real and the sukshma shariram mind also real and chidabhasa 100% real <laughs> and all the problems also real and struggling what to do who is cause for this he says this uh, relation atma anatma relation chit chit chida bhasa relation is it real paramarthatah he says natu paramarthatah this uparagah this sambandha of mind plus chida bhasa called ahankara ahankara aham sudo i and higher i the real connection natu paramarthatah it is not real natu paramarthatah bhavati that sambandha paramartha sam paramarthatah sambandah nasti na means nasti there is no real sambandha it is unreal sambandha sambandhi annale problem okay sambandhi annale problem ಅದು ಮಾದರಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥತಃ ನ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇ ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅನ್ರಿಯಲ್ ವ್ಯಾವಹಾರಿಕ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾರಮಾರ್ಥಿಕ ಚಿತ್ ಅಹಂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಎ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಮ್ಯಾರೀಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಬಾಯ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ರೀಮಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿ ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ಹರ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಹಿ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿ not possible like that ahankara is like a dream girl aham chitta chitti is atma chaitanyam cannot have any relation at all paramarthatah na sambhavati atmanah avidyaya but how how this sambandha happening avidyaya because of ignorance because of ignorance atmanah because of ignorance only taking that unreal i 
ஆத்மனாக அவித்யா நாட் நோயிங் த ரியல் ஐ ஹைய ஐ அவித்யா தத் காரியேண பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் இக்னரன்ஸ் செல்ஃப் இக்னரன்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் இக்னரன்ஸ் இஸ் தேர் வாட் கம்ஸ் இன் தட் காரியம் அவித்யா லீட்ஸ் டு காமா காமா லீட்ஸ் டு கர்மா அவித்யா காமா கர்மா ஆல் கம்ஸ் காரியேண தத் காரியேணாவா ஈவன் காமா because of that body because of that so many other products are all coming in i am am i having any connection with them really anatma is vyavaharikam vyavaharika satyam lower order of reality i the atma am paramarthika satyam can i have any connection with that bhoktritvam pramatritvam போக்கிய பிரபஞ்ச சம்பந்த இஸ் இட் பாசிபிள் நாட் பாசிபிள் பட் ஐ கன் ஐ எம் கன்ஃபியூஸ் அண்ட் டேக்கிங் தட் சம்பந்த ஹேஸ் ரியல் விச் இஸ் நாட் பாசிபிள் தட்ஸ் வை ஐ சேட் ட்ரீம் இஸ் நாட் எ ட்ரீம் ஃபார் எ ட்ரீமர் இன் த ட்ரீம் ஐ ரிப்பீட் ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் ட்ரீம் இஸ் நாட் எ ட்ரீம் ஃபார் எ ட்ரீமர் இன் த ட்ரீம் Similarly, for an ignorant person, Atma Agnani, this Vyavaharika Prapancha is Vyavaharika Sambandha, Vyavaharika Doership, Enjoyership, all these are not unreal as long as he gives reality. He is in Agnanam. That is why Yamadharma Raja said to Nachiketas, Uttishthat Jagrata, Arise and Awake. May you arise to your higher nature and remember that. How many of us are remembering? If you remember, life is wonderful. If you don't remember, life is miserable. Don't make use of this uh, knowledge for your academic uh, qualification. Don't uh, um, get into the no, uh, mischievous uh, intellect. it is making you mind intellect they cheat us this is as a academic knowledge of i make use of and to talk in front of others no this is not this knowledge is not for that it is not for academic shining or academically i want to show my knowledge in shastra to others that's why in our classes we never encourage deliberately i in my experience of teaching and learning i have observed this um, as long as you do lot of debates and discussions and are you are nourishing your ahankar ego this is not for a just discussions arguments sake silently listen understand say aham brahmasmi to yourself say goodbye to vedanta that's all but unfortunately many people are trapped in the shastra ananta shastram bahu veditavyam this is also shabda jalam maharanyam chitta bhramana karakam annar wonderful statement shankara acharya gives i love that statement what shabda jalam maharanyam this shastra also bhagavad gita upanishad statements wonderful teaching panchakosha viveka sharira tray viveka what not uh, uh, that um, phala vyapti vritti vyapti once you dwell into shastra is very very interesting it is called intellectual itching people are having lot of intellectual itching writing books and books and books only to show their scholarship not assimilating shastra shabda jalam maharanyam what next word chitta bhramana karakam it deludes the person even vedanta shabdas also if you are not careful if you are not careful just like yoga people are trapped in kundalini abhyasa what for yoga practice how they are making use of yoga practice like that only here also many people get trapped in academic qualification academic scholarship and to show others i am also a spiritual vedantic i know subjects and all this type of arguments talking therefore we never ask any questions talking in the class nothing is there i um, recommend this type of learning is the ideal learning for assimilation 
अदरवाइज चक्कर चित्त भ्रमण कारकम हंड्रेड पर्सेंट शास्त्र करेक्ट वाट शंकराचार्य सेड ब्रिलियंटली थॉट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट नो जस्ट लाइक दैट शंकराचार्य कैनाट से जेवर गेट चित्त भ्रमण इन द वर्ड्स कैच द मीनिंग मेसेज फ्रॉम द वर्ड्स गेट द एसेंस एंड एसिमुलेट यस पर्पस इज सर्वड दैट साल be silent <laughs> okay if any victim is available you can't share with those who are interested really that sharing is also for your benefit only don't think that you are going to educate and change the people and all no <clears throat> it's not your job just sharing bhagwan has given me the opportunity for my assimilation like that you have to think if at all if you want to share with others that is the way just i went out of track okay come back tat karyena va sambandha na abhut na asti na bhavishyate see there was no sambandha between <coughs> chida bhasa and pseudo i and higher i or real i there is no sambandha as abhut means it was not there in the past na asti it is not there in the present also na bhavishyate that sambandha न भविष्यति इन फ्यूचर आल्सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल तस्य अपरिलुप्त दृष्टि स्वाभाव्यात व्हाई इट वाज नॉट देयर इट इज नॉट देयर इट विल नॉट बी देयर एनी टाइम दिस संबंधन दैट दृष्ट दृष्टि मींस हियर आत्मा बिकॉज द रियल आई तस्य मींस that real i aparilupta it never have any absence Ap- uh, aparilupta this word already we heard previously aparilupta its presence can never have any absence <laughs> that means ever present ityartha lupta means lopam absence na vidyate um, विपरीलोपो विद्यते न विपरीलोपो विद्यते अविनाशित्वाद इन वेकिंग स्टेट ड्रीम स्टेट एंड स्लीप स्टेट ऑल द टाइम इट इज देयर इट इज देयर मीन्स मीन्स आई दि साक्षी चैतन्य एम देयर अपरिलुप्त दृष्टि स्वाभाव्याद स्वाभाव्य मीन्स नित्य चैतन्य स्वरूपम अहम आई एम नित्य चैतन्य स्वरूपम नेवर हैव एनी एब्सेंस it means what no? you have to understand this uh, lower i pseudo i ahankara is uh, available in jagrat and swapna in uh, deep sleep it is not available but i am there in deep sleep also aham na kinchi davedesham ham sukham aswapsam that sentence you can take aham sukham aswapsam i slept well i slept well who knows ahankara knows that no i the sakshi jaitamnyam and the witnesser am there that's called aluptaha because i am ever eternal chaitanya swarupam next verse next verse means uh, he explains in the form of verse drishyanu raktam tad drashtru दृश्य दृष्टनुरंजिम अहम मृत्यो भय रक्त तन्नाशे द्वैतम तन्नाशे देर इज एस मार्क इन बिट्वीन अद्वैतता आत्म मिनिम सांस्क्रिट ग्रामर इज रिक्वयर्ड फॉर दिस् पर्पस् अदरवैज i read many students many means many students before coming to vedanta i read many times i read but i not not able to understand how can you understand see uh, uh, here tannashe dvaita dvaita tatmanaha is there that splitting itself is difficult unless you know minimum grammar and uh, meaning of that tatparyam then only you can uh, split the words properly very beautiful words he verse here you see 
दृश्यानुरक्तम तद्रष्ट्र वी सा दिस टॉपिक बट इन डिफरेंट वर्ड्स फॉर्मेट ही प्रेजेंट्स व्हाट इज दैट आई दि आत्म चैतन्य आई एम द सीयर नंबर वन एंड द अहंकार सीयर नंबर टू the seer number 2 is seen from me the atma chaitanyam standpoint so the seer number 2 is seen also seer also subject also object also object from the standpoint of the world subject from the uh, subject from the standpoint of the world and object from the standpoint of the chit ai the atma so the mind he says here drish drishya anurakta tad drashtr there you have to make one sentence this drishya means you have to supply one word antakaranam antakaranam tad antakaranam tad antakaranam this antakarana anuraktam anurakta means sambandhah anuraktam anuraktah san having the relation with chaitanyam tat drashtr bhavati this antakaranam which is the um, because of that sambandha of me the atma chaitanyam chidabhasa happened without me the chidabhasa is not formed this um, mind cannot have that ahankara status It's okay therefore um, drishyanuraktam tad drashtr drashtr bhavati drashtr bhavati here see world is the drishyam mind is ahankara is the drashtr seer number 2 it is uh, seeing the world how it is seeing the world how the world has become drishyam because in the ahankara the mind thought has um, come because of some desire i want to get that object that thought and that object in the outside world so world there is an object that object uh, is desired by me there is a thought arises in the mind in that antakaranam so the whole thing the process happening that time the world drishyam that time this mind gets the name drashtr drashtr then drishyam drashtr anuranjitam drashtr anuranjitam how to split the uh, drashtr plus anuranjitam drashtra anuranjitam from the standpoint of me the chit this mind ahankara chit chidabhasa and mind put together ahankara this ahankara sudo i is drishyam this is already we saw many times again again repeated that means very important and artham this is called abhyasa repetition दृश्यम दृष्टुरंजिम वन अनुरंजित मीन हियर संबंध फ्रम द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ फ्रम द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ वाट फ्रम द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ चित आत्म चैतन्य अहंकार बिकम्स दृश्यम अहंकार मीन वाट अगेन मैंड प्लस चिदाभास so in tattva bodha ahankara means a particular thought tattva bodha visa ahankara means it's a particular thought but here in this uh, naishkirma siddhi when sureshwara acharya talking about ahankara it is not uh, a vritti or a thought here ahankara means the entire antakaranam mano buddhi chitta ahankara put together antakaranam is called ahankara here okay from atma stand point i am showing like this and this and this there is no distance there is no distance like this okay but i have to make you to understand i have to show my hands don't take a distance 
they are very very close and intimate unpurifiable you cannot separate them okay <laughs> unpurifiable is english and tamil combined okay it's not uh, sub inseparable both are three of them drishyam drashta anuranjitam when it is from the standpoint anuranjitam tadeva tadeva means that mind which is the which is hankara is subject from the standpoint of the world or drashtra the rashta number 2 from the standpoint of the world tadeva you can supply tadeva that ahankara alone drashtra nuranjitam drishyam bhavati from the standpoint of drashta number 1 seer number 1 drishyam bhavati it becomes the drishyam aham mrityoho ubhayam ubhayam raktam aham mrtya aham mrtya hetu panchami aham mrtya hetu tritiya aham mrtya both are separate words aham mrtya ubhayam aham mrtyo bhayam and the top also tat drashtr also separate words tat drashtr bhavati na that means ahankara becomes drashta from the standpoint of the world ahankara is the drishyam from the standpoint of the atma chaitanya aham vritya by i thought ubhayam raktam ubhayam raktam means not blood here rakta means ubhayam here through the ahankara aham vritya means through the ahankara atma and world ubhaya means here atma and world they are linked why they are linked ubhayam raktam atma the chit i and the world both are linked by the ahankara why atma cannot directly contact the world atma cannot do anything directly because uh, without the help of ahankara atma cannot experience the world so who is making a con making them to contact each other linking factor is ahankara ahankara pseudo i lower i is the linking factor between the world and me the atma chaitanya what i am doing mistaking not knowing this linking factor as linking factor i am taking as a main factor that is the cause for samsara who can teach this much clearly see how great acharya is really we have to do koti koti namaskaram to them the way they communicate the subtlest topics in sanskrit language simple language tan nashe tannashe means ahankara nashe ahankara nashe advaitata atmanah atma is advaitam advaita status ahankara nashe tannashe means ahankara nashe ahankara nashe means how can you do nashe can you throw it in bay of bengal or can you cut it can you destroy it can you burn it you cannot do anything can you cut the rope snake can you burn the rope snake hai hi nahi it is not there rachu sarpa nashaha means what what way you can destroy what way you want to destroy tell me rachu sarpa false snake what way you want to destroy you can destroy best way of destruction of rachu sarpa is understanding it is not there correct like that here also tan nashaha means here falsification figuratively it is called nasha but not real nasha <coughs> that's why in upadesha saram ramana uh, maharshi says ahami nasha bhajaham aham taya स्फुरतिस्वयं परम पूर्ण सत 
beautiful verse is there in Upadesha Saram. I have taken so many times um, that uh, Advaitata Atmanaha Advaitata, non dual Atma is established by Hankara Nasha. How? Falsification. How you do falsification? Because it is only an appearance. It is not real. It is Vyavaharika Satyam Advaitata Paramarthata. Really, Advaitam alone was there. Alone, Advaitam alone, non dual Atma alone is there. Advaita non dual Atma alone will be there. Dvaitam Pravancha Nama Rupa Shariram etc. etc. Only an appearance. They are not there really. Their appearance, no problem. If you give the reality to that appearance, a problem. Okay? If you give reality to that uh, duality, then only problem. Otherwise, uh, anatma as um, anatma, there is no problem. If you give reality, Branti, Dwara, Ajnanina, if you have identity, Abhimana, Raga, Dvesha, because of ignorance, that is the problem. Now, where is the problem in the world? What Pujya Swami says, problem is you, solution is you. There is no problem in the world. In psychology, in psychiatrism, in psychology, there is no solution for problems. In Vedanta, we dissolve the problem, we don't solve the problem. Swamiji says, we don't solve the problem, we dissolve the problem. That means we recognize there is no problem. Problem is in the mind. Manayeva manushyanam karanam bandha moksha yoho bandhaya vishaya saktam muktei visha nirvishayam smritam Vishaya asakti alone is bandha. Why asakti? Because of ignorance. Okay. Muktyai, for moksha, what is it? Nirmuktam smritam. Nirmukti, free from all anatma, fake things. Never run for fake, fake things. Okay. With this, uh, 53rd verse is over. So, therefore, don't struggle for ahankara nasha. Falsification of the mind. Use the mind. I used to say, no, use the pot. Keep the pot. Make use of the pot. Say, there is no pot. Can say, there is no pot. Like that. Use the mind. Say to yourself, there is no mind. That is called Manu Nashaha, Amani Bhavaha. In Mandukya language, you can call it as Amani Bhava. Beautiful word used by Gaudapadacharya. Next page, verse number 54. 54, 55, 56, introduction, big introduction. Very, very strong introduction, powerful dose. These are all powerful dose for uh, sincere students. All other students cannot uh, grasp this. That's why you are all sincere. That's why you are all attending Naishkar Vesiddhi. Okay, 66 page number, top paragraph. Iha keti chodayanti yoyam avyay anvayam vetirekabhyam anatmatayo ho Usarito hankaraha Vakyartha pretipatta yam Soyam Soyam viparitarthaha Sambruttaha After here we will see Iha Now a poor pakshi is coming Iha means in this context in this context means what context? Ahankara Nasha is Advaita um, Advaitata Atmanaha Advaitata How you can establish Atma, non-dual Atma 
Advaitata. Atma is non dual. Uh, it is Advaitam. There is no second real entity. I am real. I alone am real. I means Uchi I. Lakshartha I. Aham. Atma Chaitanyam. Satchit Atma Chaitanyam. I am alone real. And mind is unreal. Hankara is unreal. Body mind complex unreal. They are all matter. Therefore, therefore, Kechit Chodayanti. Some people. Kechit, some people, Chodayanti raise a big objection or big question here. Chodayanti. What do they say? Yaha ayam anvaya vitirekabhyam. You, the Vedantin, what you people are doing? Anvaya vitireka. Anvaya vitireka means yat satve, yat satvam, yadabhavi, yadabhavaha, tatu tasya karanam. Co presence and co absence. In Jagradavastha, Hankara is there. And Sopnavastha, Hankara is there. In Sushiptyavastha, Hankara is not available. Therefore, Hankara is Mithya. We are establishing Anvaya, Jagrat Sattve, Hankara Sattvam. Sopna Sattve, Hankara Sattvam. Sushupto ahankara eva nasti, no experience. Doer is not there, enjoyer is not there. In sleep, because ahankara is not functioning, you have for, forgotten gross body in deep sleep, and no dreamer also, no waker also in that sushupti. That uh, ahankara is not there, vitreka that is. Anvaya means jagradavasthaya, sopnavasthayam, it is there. All your teachings of Anvaya and Vitreka, Vitreka Abhyam, Atma, Anatmata Yoho, Ussaritaha, Ahankaraha. So you have finally established what falsify the Ahankara. Tannashe, you are telling, all your teachings are for what purpose this Anvaya and Vitreka? To facilitate Mahavakya. Vakyartha Pratipattai to facilitate Mahavakya. Vakyartha means here Mahavakya. Mahavakya means Tatutvam, Asibhagatya, Galakshana, all those teachings you are giving, you are, um, you are making these all statements um, about Mahavakya, Pratipattai, Saha, Soyam, Viparitartha, Samvrittha. This leads to a Viparitartha, counter product. Instead of getting Tannasha, Tannasha means Ahankaranasha. If Ahankaranasha happens, how that uh, Aham Brahmasmi Jnanam can come? You are telling Aham Nasha, Ahankaranasha, and you are talking so many verses. Hmm? Belittling the anatma, sariram, manas, ahankara, verse and verses, 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 pages and pages you are talking. And for the purpose of what, na, finally you want to teach Mahavakya Tatutvamasi by Anvaya Vitreka, uh, all those things, Saha Soyam, Saha Ayam. That means you are teaching. And whatever you taught until now, what will happen? Vibritartha samvrittaha. It has going to end up with a counter productive. Not giving right, um, right teaching or right answer, right solution. It is not going to give. Why? What is the reason? That we will see in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om